<laughs> I am really enjoying my episodes from Brazil. You know why? Because I'm learning so many new things that I never knew it existed. How I wish I speak so many different languages from Africa so that I'll be able to connect. I learned something new from my comment section yesterday that I never knew it existed, which is Oludum, the popular music band in Salvador Bahia. Never knew that word is an Iroba word. So, thank you to all my Yoruba subscribers who left a comment to educate me. And now, I now know that Eludumale Kabio Osi. There's a song like that. But trust me, I never knew the word Oludum came from Nigeria. But hey, that's not why I'm here. I have traveled across Africa. And whenever you travel within Africa, there is one thing that stands out in every single African country that you go to. And that is our African market. And it's exciting to see that in Salvador Bahia, the blackest city out of Africa, the city with 80% of its population roots to Africa, seeing the signature of African market present in Salvador Bahia made me feel like indeed this is Africa. It's funny how we are in Brazil and we eat coconut the same way we eat coconut in Ghana. It, it makes me stay here. I'm not going back to Africa because I'm in Africa. Yeah, in Africa already. <laughs> The similarity in Bahia and West Africa is, is, is very similar. At the same time, the similarity too is to the South Africa, going from down of Congo to, to Angola. Yeah. Because if you look at the map of, of the African map and the, Bay, the Brazilian map, yeah. the South America, yeah. you see that the Angolans are very parallel to the Bahia. Yep. So if you look at the, trans, uh, the, the, the transit of the slavery, it was easier to transport each country to your opposite level. Mm. So this Bahia gets Angola, Ghana gets Marayam. These are all like a, a, a big, and this way they really live like Africans. They are food. Wow, Some like literally clothing. everything, even the people. The people. Hi man, what's up? Yeah. That's a cassava, man. Yeah, cassava. There is yam, watermelon. These are all African roots. She's selling okra. Kiabo. Kiabo, kiabo. It's called kiabo in Brazil. Yeah. Nkruma, nkruma. Yeah. This is the yam. Yeah. Wow. And this is the white potatoes, the sweet white potatoes. And, and, and this is the sweet one. Yeah, the oh. sweet one. Oh my goodness. Look at cocoa. Oh wow. That's the symbol of Ghana. Cocoa. Why they brought some of the seed from Ghana to here? Exactly. To and Bahia. You know, to Bahia? Yeah, that's why they have it most. The whole Brazil, that's where you can have. They even call a study cacao. Is a is a is a commu a big community of production of cocoa down the south of Bahia. So this is a symbol of one more thing we can find Ghana here. Então, então aí, então é nós, é nós. Não, bora aí, aí vou falar. Agora fala oi, tudo bem? Okay, I don't understand anything, but I'm just like, oh, what did he say? He's saying that you are not speaking a language. So why is he going to shake you not speaking a language? Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, you say togetherness. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, so we are entering the front of the market. Oh my goodness! Yes. Oh my goodness! This is the Kaneshi or Makola market? Yes, 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 yes. Like. This is for Lagos, like they have Jankara Market, you see? They have the Pepe Land. The Barrow, man. <laughs> Bro, this is Africa, man. This is Africa. How did you feel 
the first time you came to a market like this, man? I mean, when you landed in this country and you yeah. came in, all the settings looks like you're back home. You know, Salvador really changed my life of view of outside Africa. I would say, why? Because I'm like, I'm in Kotokraba market. I'm from Cape Coast. Exactly. See, the ginger, look at the, the mahogany, them, the pites, where we That's use two pites. Oh my goodness. You understand? It's a, it, it makes me stay here. I'm not going back to Africa because I'm in Africa. Yeah, in already. Africa already. <laughs> Even the I arrange, like everything. Yes, yes, yes. Familiar, we say familiar. Familiar, familiar, familiar. Wow. To the How are you, man? To the, Good. To the bank? Yeah. Like that buying cars, buying cars. Yeah, he's checking. Yeah, yeah. Black yeah. power, black, black power. power, black power, black power. See, see, see the granite. It's the same way we sell it, man. Hello. Yeah, another cocoa. Another cocoa. They sell cocoa here too. And you know, like in, in Ghana, you will never see cocoa on the market. Them selling it like this in Ghana. Really? No. You see. And yeah, you know, they, like selling your cocoa in Ghana is illegal. Illegal. You have to sell it to, to the, the government. Yeah. But here, everyone is selling their cocoa on the street. You sell what you plant. Exactly. Or you own what you plant. Is that red oil? That's palm oil, red oil, original African oil. Ah! Yes. You you eat red oil, palm oil? What's it call me Dende? Dende is actually an African name. It's taken from uh, Angolan language called Kimbundu. So that's why the name Dende comes from. And, and, and what does Dende mean? Dende Zero is the name of the tree that produces the, the, yeah. um, the fruit. So please leave a comment if you know anything about the origination of the name Dende. Uh, what do you eat with? Uh, what do you say? is a it's a beans dough. Like Ghana call it Kose. Kose. Oh my goodness, no. I need to try that. So it's a very traditional African cuisine. They use it in everything. Just everything. Does it feel African? We say it's Africano. So yes, they are from descendants of Africa. So for sure he feel Africa. Nice to meet you, my brother. Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> Hello. to express the way I feel to people on camera because literally I feel like I'm walking in the street of any it, market <sighs> any market no typical even the way they sell the 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 the, the ingredients this is mind blowing man So happy to be here, and uh, I, I'm just super excited being here. That's like my grandma from Ghana. How, how are you? To the bank. To the bank. To the bank. Oh, to say everything is everything is cool. Ha. Yeah. She looks like my grandmother from Ghana. What's the parisi family daily lying in Ghana? I say, say for sure. Why not? Has she ever been to Africa? What say you have been Africa, aunties? Say he has not, but I really love to. How do I make that dream come true? Come when you point for this, he is here, Lisa. Say you the one going to say it. You have a passport? What say ten passport? Ah. Which country in Africa do you want to visit? Who keep país da Africa? Você gostaria de conhecer? Ah, Africa me like the país bem parecido. Mas que 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 país? Porque são muitas. Tem Ghana, Nigeria. Nigeria. Nigeria, ok. You wanna go to Nigeria? Hey, say you came to Nigeria. Oh, I just know. Can't say. Can't. You say she wants to. We can make it happen. A gente pode fazer acontecer. Mas se because she, she has to leave. She has to leave. She has to She has to leave. She has to be in Africa before she transition. Você precisa ir para África antes sua missão dessa terra. E aí? Does she want to go? Pesado, né? Ele te pegou. Get, get, get a contact. Let's make it happen. Okay. And I was so excited when I found Kaku. The greatest meat of all time. I found it in Salvador Bahia. So hey, if you are from Salvador Bahia, call me my brother.
this is more like the meat session. Yeah. You know, we have this sorted beef in Ghana. Yeah. With a <laughs> This is more like the white one. Yeah. And wow, oh my and this goodness. This one, they, they do it with, uh, with sun, they dry it with sun. And you know, like with this, we cook it with, uh, we can use it to cook. Yeah. We can also make uh, rice and oil Sewer, with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. God, this is Africa, man. And this one, when you make it with uh, uh, rice, man, it's so delicious. That's what I'm saying. What do you cook with this? A sauteed beef. Let me know in the comment section, man. Wow, this is like a beef session. No. Yeah. Wow. This is beef section. Meat. Beef session. Meat. Yeah. Everything meat. Yeah. Shrimp. Different type of shrimp at that side. Wow. 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 We did not come here the other day. Ha! Huh. They have kako here. This is kako. This is kako. <laughs> you were looking for kako. Hallelujah. I, I was looking for kako. Yo! This is my best meat in the whole world, man. They got it here. Jackie? Kaku! Kaku? Yeah! You know, this is like wow. salted shark, bro. You cut them into pieces and then you put salt. It's salty, man. It's, it's one of the best you'll ever get. I told you I can live here, man. I'm, I must eat kaku in here before I leave. Yo, we buy kaku. Yeah, we're gonna buy kaku. Yeah, just dancing. Yeah. Is that uh, a kilo is 80 years? 80, a kilo? Yeah. Half a kilo? Me, uh, metash. Mayu. Yes. Uh huh. But is, is it, you, you want the meat, you want the fish? All of them is okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh huh. Right past us. No, I didn't. Was it so quarter plan? No, it's uh, one kilo. One kilo? Uh, mayu kilo. What can we do? Mayu kilo was a project quarter plan. No, it's. I'm with I'm with That's half a kilo. Is, that, is, is it okay? It's okay, it's okay. I mean, what is it? Well, so how much is it? 49. Okay. Where is he? See? Spices. The spices. This is what they used to cook jollof in Ghana. Yeah. All the spices, they have it here, man. Is that garlic? Is that pepper? That's pepermento? No. no. This one is 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 uh is scarlet. Pepermento? Is it pepper? Pimento? No. No. What's that? They used to uh, you know when you uh, for example you are cooking and you want the, the your food to be colored. Do you understand? You, yeah, have it. you put it to the inside so that it will be colored. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, the jollof, yeah. Hello. Tutu bang. Kwanske? Three. Three eyes. They have coconuts. They uh, cook. So, salt? Salt. See. They huh? cook. Yes. No salt. No, here they use it with uh, with uh, with sugar. The same salt. The same thing. Man. Salt. No, he said it doesn't have. You only have sugar. Sugar. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. To the bank. Obrigado. The same thing that the rose mace, the same thing that they do in here. A brigado. No, no. a cabo. Não entendi. Okay, obrigado. I say you want to do this for us for uh, this one for two hours. No, if I. 
I gave her money. Yeah. Obrigado. I don't want king. I've started more. One more. Thank you. Obrigado. Say obrigado. Do you know what he said? Hey, hey. Tell me a more. So, do you know the meaning? No. Bye bye, my love. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love you too, mama. You can actually make every meal that we have in Africa here. Yes. That's why I, I feel at home so much because I'm. We 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 the fancy. This is, this is a, uh, they will say this is a, a snake food. A snake food in, in Ghana. A snake and food, but here thank you. they eat. It's a real fruit. You understand? This is what I was talking about. In Africa, you this they will tell you that you will die. In Ghana, yeah, you yeah. can't eat this. They tell you that it's you bought it already. No, oh, yes, but you can eat it. You know this one. You open it. This one we we'll call it nyunyan. You know nyunyan. Yeah. But we use the leaf for medicine. You know, we, the, we, cook, we cook the leaves for medicine, but here... I cannot, I cannot eat because I still have that mindset that this is the <laughs> food for the snake, but I'm not a snake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a fruit. What yeah. if I turn into snake, bro? <laughs> <laughs> ah, where's my cup? Can I have my cup? I didn't cup for the daily. <laughs> it's just two. I can you cup with Ellie? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, you're amazing. You're amazing. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to the motherland. Our sisters did not leave anything behind. They brought everything with them. Look at the basket. Like it's exactly the same way we make baskets. And they are all handcraft. Handcraft? Yeah. Ha! So our our aunties in the market, this is a hat, exactly the same hat. To protect the sun. Ha! Right. We have this in Ghana, man. Made out of cans. And they're doing exactly the same thing here. Like literally everything. <laughs> She's the one doing this art, beautiful art. Oh, where did she learn it? Aprende onji, aprende onji. It's just observing and doing it. It's handcraft. Does she know that? Does she know that the reason why she knows how to do it is the spirit from Africa? So we say sabi ki a institution ki ten profazi su vien da Africa. Sabia. Because no, he say he knows. Because we make. To do Vienna Africa, say they have this culture of Africa that they use it to do basket, they use it to do hat, they use it to do other things like you put fruit. Wow. Wow. The basket. Oh. I, I feel like Brazilians embrace Africa. The Africa, Afro-Brazilians really embrace Africa, man. I think the Afro-Brazilians appreciate a lot of Africa. You say, is it not everything started from there? That's why, yeah? Hey, the Africans that came to Brazil with the colonization that tends all these things to happen like this. So for sure, the root is Africa. Hey! Serious matter! The market where they have restaurants. So yeah. these are the, the market, the restaurant that feed the whole market people. I, I hope Very we can. Important. I hope we can get a restaurant where we can eat some African meal today. Yes, yes, yes. All the whole city is fed from this market. Hmm. They take it to everywhere, like 24 hours on function, because the the, the food comes from the farm. Mid, in the middle of the night. So like five, four, three o'clock, people are already here. People Bye. have come from far places to pick it up in large quantities. Wow. To take along, you know. 
those are fruits, yeah, huh? Yeah. It comes in large quantity. Large quantity. Pineapple. This is melon, melon, all kinds of melon. Watermelon, this is, I don't know the kind of melon, but these are all kind of melon. Uh, yeah. That's a popo, right there. Yeah. So I think this side is the fruit session. Yeah, it's this more Do you guys have plantain in, in here? Yeah, plantain and uh, Banana. bananas. Because yes. that's banana, I've not seen they plantain They have more than most African countries. Brazil exports every food. They export everything, everything. They, they feed 40% of the population on it. Actually, it's the breadbasket of the whole world. So, yeah, yeah. Every food comes from Brazil, exactly, man. Exactly, exactly. I'm seeing some fruits that I've never seen before. Example, <laughs> example. Oh, that's, that's plantain. Yeah, that's plantain. Ah! That's plantain. plantain. I, was like, I was like, where am I going to see plantain? So which means you can pound fufu here? Yeah, you can pound, but we don't have the pounder. So what we do is, I use another system of eating original Ghana fufu, but I have to go through technology, micro, <laughs> microwave, you know. <laughs> but the soups, palm nut soup, granite soup, uh, uh, light soup, uh, contombre, uh, uh, garden egg stew, uh, uh, pumpkin stew, uh, everything. Ibusi, everything you get it. Everything, that's where we are, everything. We bought some few stuff from the market, man. Yes, yes. And uh, where are you heading to now? Where, where, where yeah, we are here. We're finding a place to eat in a traditional San Joaquin where uh, all the food that goes to all the city are from here. And they created a restaurant where you can see people eating doesn't have nothing to do with the market. You can see? Okay. Because it's become an attraction where Everybody feel like coming to have a lunch in the market. So if you look at them, they have nothing to do with the market. There are people that come from somewhere and just come and enjoy the, enjoy the place. Wow. You know? Yeah. So, so it's a local that's meal, what man. this market stands for. It's, it's tourist. I'm salivating, man. Is she yeah. going to give me some? <laughs> so we are in the area of the African spiritual religion. African so, spiritual, spiritual religion. religion, where you have the the the, the traditional religion, you know. Oh, yeah. So even with the outfit. What, what inspired the outfit? Is it from Benin? Aki inspiration is Dubini. Aki inspiration is Dubini to the Ben Sankofa. To the bank? It's a K, it's a Duke, Daonji, Bini, or Nigeria. This one? Yansan. 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 They call it Yansan. Yansan because Yansan is a Yoruba language. Yeah. Because why? Because the Yoruba was the last slaves that came to America. That's why their religion, it's all over. If you go to Cuba, if you go to all the Latin, they speak, they all use the Yoruba. Wow. As they are. So it's the Orisha. I think in Ghana we call this Benti. So th yeah, so these are the outfit from um, the Yoruba people, right? For the traditional religion of, of, of yeah, the Afro That's religion in the diaspora. Yeah, if you see the, the, the way they use all the beats, mm. you understand? Okay. Our chiefs and kings and also our native doctors. So this is like the things that the native doctor will have. Do you, do you know this? Cola. Oh no, no, cola. no, this is not cola. Ate. 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 Oh my goodness. Ate. So they all use this in a traditional offerending and, and other, this, you know. This are all Asanka, right? Exactly. But these are beads. I'm these seeing like beads, a exactly. clay pot right in there. Wow. So they all use this for juju, you know? Ah, they have juju here? Yeah, that, that is what it's meant for, for ending. See, by... Okay, do you know what we have here? That's a tortoise. Yes. Why do you guys keep tortoise like this? Because they use it for rituals. Rituals, jeez. Oh yeah, this is the market. This is where I want to bring. Where you can see diversity of all these African, starting from the drums, right? 
these drums is only meant to be played in the in the uh, African religion. We call it candomblé because actually, for me, it doesn't really make sense candomblé because it's only Yoruba. Yeah. The whole tribes in Africa are billions of tribes. They only use one language, so it's not everybody that is going to understand the candomblé. But they call it what? Candomblé. Candomblé. Yes. In here. In here. But that's that's a Yoruba language. That's Yoruba language. Which means? Which means a, a, a traditional religion. Oh, wow. Where uh, they call it that in Ghana we call it traditional religion. Okay. Yeah. So it is it is the traditional. See what the tigers have for us. Jeez. Powerful. Start from the power. If you want to pound your palm nut <laughs> in Ghana for the fufu pounders, the more here. So you can see that all the people in the whole Brazil, when they want to do anything spiritually, if you want to give some uh, uh, sacrifice for for some some spiritual thing, you direct you to buy some things which they will use it together to make the the ritual. So that's where they come. So most of the people here all are saint with some definition, you know? Something to come and to buy. To come and buy, like you see what they hold in their hand. Can you ask her what she's coming to buy here? Go to the bank. What's the compra okay? Uh, he came to she came to find out something like uh, research. So these are the beats. Beats. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, these are the. So an African craft. artifact. Yes. This one, I know this one. This is a Nigerian. Nigerian. Yeah. Igbo. Yeah. Typically. Oh my goodness. And the outfits. Yes, Agwada. The, the outfit is representing. This is crazy, and, man. And all those, the statue of the, of the, is very important not to forget as well. Each statue stands for one kind of spirit né? that they believe mixed with the Catholic because uh, as Brazil have the, the, uh, the, they are colonizing and the religion oppressed, they always have to hide. They never do it openly. So even to today, they are dying because of, it's a slave religion and that's the diaspora. So they are still being oppressed. We have a religious movement, uh, a Christian movement, um, uh, Pentecostal temples, are, they are growing, growing here in Brazil. And some of them, not all of them, uh, sustain this message that uh, Candomblé is uh, the same of the devil. So, this is sugar cane. This is sugar cane. They grow sugar cane here, right? Oh, it's the biggest economic in Brazil, sugar cane. In alcohol, in uh, uh, alcohol for vehicles, for sugar, and for uh, the spirits, appetition, the ogogoro. So it's a symbol of slavery as well, because that's where the slaves work on the farm. Big, big farms. So when they brought them here, exactly. they were growing sugar cane. Sugar, going that's why everybody thinks that when you're going to Brazil, you're going to grow sugar cane. Sugar cane, yeah, because it's the symbol. That's what the slaves, not only in Brazil, Cuba as well, they have a lot of sugar cane, molasses, Plantation. plantations that produce sugar all over the world. And to make this quantity of production, you need, they needed the slaves. That's why they, they, it was very economically growing because the more slaves you have, the bigger farm you have. have. This is Asanka. Wow. 
we eat in this. We also grind tomatoes and peppers within this. Yes. And it's exciting to see that they have the same thing in Brazil. It shows you that indeed Africans were taken from Africa and brought to this part of the world. Nothing can change my mind about that, that slavery story or the transatlantic story was a fairy tale. Because you see the presence of Africa in here. Are they selling on water? No, this they they just they are taking it to the island. To the island. The island needs products. Wow. All the islands, mm. they need products from here. Oh. All these boats serve like long distance and to uh, uh, support the supermarket, the grocery store. So it's very important the work of these big big boats. They are not that big, but they are big enough to take enough. So most of the owners owns little little shops on the island. So they come and do the big shopping and take it there. So that's what they sustain. <laughs> Greetings from Africa. Say a uh, uh, compliment to Saudi Africa. Keta compliment And we 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 are so sorry. Eh, a gente estamos muito desculpa pedi desculpa estamos sentido. That we we couldn't fight so hard not to bring you guys here. Si para não brigar tanto para não deixar trazer vocês para cá. But you are welcome to Africa anytime. Se você sempre está bem vindo para África. Let's see. Sankofa. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for I mean taking me around, showing me Africa in Brazil. I, I've learned a lot of new things today. And believe me or not, this is Africa in Brazil. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much for having this opportunity to share this wonderful educational colonial Africanism diaspora. And I know my people are going to have a lot of good benefits of this your wonderful wonderful education system to you in Africa, Maya. So whenever somebody comes to um, Salvador, Bahia, reach out to DJ Sankofa. And believe me, you're gonna learn something that you've never learned in your whole life before. Don't forget to like this video, share this video so that others will see this video. I mean, I am blown away. I've learned something new, and I believe that so many people need to know that there is Africa's presence in Brazil. And I'll see you all in the next one. I am Maya. Peace out.